All right, so we've talked a lot about querying and how to actually get information out of MongoDB, but we haven't really talked much about how to manipulate data, and we haven't really talked about write operations. So as far as those go, we have three basic operations. We have insert, update, and remove. So first we'll talk about insert. I think that's the most logical thing to start with. Then we'll talk later about update and remove. All right, so here's another example. And this is basically showing inserting a single document using the Node.js driver. So here we have a single document, student Calvin, age 6, and we're looking in the students collection. So we have db.collection.students.insert, and just insert the document as the first argument and give it a callback. And in our callback, first argument is an error, second argument is whatever was inserted. So we just throw an error if we found one. Otherwise, we log the document that we inserted. So this is actually going to be a JavaScript object. So we call json.stringify to actually get the JSON representation of this JavaScript object. Then we just close the database. So this is inserting a single document. All right, so let's run that. So we see successfully inserted student Calvin, age 6. And we see actually this extra underscore ID field. So this was automatically generated for us by the driver. And it's actually a unique key for the document. So we can actually try running this again just to see what happens. And notice that we insert a new document, same student, same age. But we actually generated a new underscore ID field for the new document we inserted. So just to make sure, we can connect to the course database again do db.students.find and we can actually see the two documents we inserted. Alright, so let's look at another example. So this is another example of inserting a document. So the difference here is that we're actually giving it our own underscore ID field. So before we saw that it was generated, but in this case we actually are storing meaningful data there. We're storing the name of the student in our underscore ID field. So that's really the only difference here. But let's actually see what happens when we run this. All right, so that worked. We actually inserted a document with ID Calvin age 6. And notice that the driver didn't actually generate a new underscore ID field. Actually kept the one we gave it. So what happens if we try to insert another one? So here we get a huge error, actually, because we're throwing an exception when we get an error back from the database. In this case, we're getting a Mongo error. And the message is e11000 duplicate key course.students, and the duplicate key is Calvin. So let's actually go back into this, and instead of throwing the error, we'll just do console.log error.message and return db.close. Now, if we run this, we get a much nicer error message. We just get the error instead of the stack trace. So it just depends on what you're looking for. The error is actually a built-in JavaScript and Node.js object. So you can actually look in the documentation for Node.js and actually some general JavaScript documentation to figure out more about the error object. All right, so those are two examples of inserting a single document. But you can actually insert multiple documents using the Node.js driver. All right, so this is an example of inserting more than one document. So here we have var docs is an array. And we have a student named Calvin, age 6, student named Susie, age 7. And we're doing exactly the same thing, except instead of inserting a single document here, we're actually inserting the whole array of documents. Everything else is completely identical. We're printing out what we inserted and then closing the database. So let's run this. All right, so we inserted this array student Calvin, age 6, student Susie, age 7, and actually both documents had an underscore ID and a unique underscore ID generated for them. So those are some examples of how to do inserts using the MongoDB Node.js driver. All right, so this is the quiz about inserting and underscore ID in the Node.js driver. So we have a section of example code here, and I'm just going to walk through it. So just like most of our other examples, we actually open a database connection. And what we're doing here is we're trying to insert these documents into our collection. Now, notice we have an array of documents. We have two documents here. And they actually both have an underscore ID field of George. 
Now this one is uppercase G, this one is lowercase G, different ages. And your task is to figure out what happens when we run this code. And you can actually just copy and paste this and run it yourself to verify the answer. Now, this is actually a multiple choice question and we have the options down here. So the question is, what will happen when we run the above code? Only one document in the array will be inserted. We will get an error because we are trying to insert an array of documents instead of a single document. We will get a duplicate key error or both documents will be inserted successfully.